Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is an update for my Project 5 uses. Um, I started this last month in a way of just trying to go through my makeup collection a little bit more frequently and choosing things that I wouldn't normally use and just try to get a little bit of use on more products. So it's only, I've only got to hit, like use something for five times and I can roll it out. So that's a really good way. 10, I think I just get a bit bored. Five feels really realistic for me and it just gives me a little bit of a play about and I can just keep switching things out. So this was originally kind of like a shop my stash, but now I've decided I'm going to keep it purely as project five uses and I'm going to have a... I think I might have like a seasonal shop my stash. I don't know, but I do want to do shop my stash in its own right. Um, so 10 products. Last time I just went through, it started off as a shop my stash. I pulled out far too many products. Um, so then I used Alexa just to help me narrow it down. It was a bit long winded <laughs> and I'll definitely be tweaking it this time. So hopefully it won't be as painful to watch <laughs> or as lengthy. So um, we ended up with 10 products, which was a really, really great amount to use, especially considering I've got lots of other projects and things on the go as well. So it keeps it so it's not so overwhelming and it's definitely things I can work on. So I enjoyed it. These are the products that I had last time, if you remember. Um, and if you've not been, um, if you didn't see my original video, I'll link it down below if you want to go watch it. So yeah, this is literally only the second video I've done on my Project 5 uses, so I'm so excited. Um, I've been thinking about ways to improve it as well, just to make it a little bit sleek with filming. So probably over the next few updates, we'll sort of fine tune it a little bit more and then we'll be like laughing. Um, I really still want to take you through the draws me when I pick out the products, but um, which draws we go into? It's going to be randomized um yeah so let's just go through first of all what i did i created um a little thing in my notes to, i don't want to give you a spoiler i'll show you at the end how i did it but yeah i created a thing in my notes and then every time i used the product i just sort of did a little um emoji and that way it was just really easy to keep track rather than having bits of paper i've always got my phone with me when i'm doing my makeup as i found this was a really simple way to keep track of the numbers so i'm really really happy with that so i'm just going to start from the top um we've got quite a few rollouts to hit my targets on quite a lot of the products so i'm really happy so the first one that i've got here was the number seven airbrush away primer so this was that um so number seven is a boots brand here in the uk boots is a pharmacy um do you get number seven in the U in the us i'm not sure do you but anyway, I've had this for ages. I think I probably got it in an advent calendar. Um, probably. Um, so I've actually used this seven times. It was really, really nice. I don't think I've ever used it in the past or maybe just the once. It was, I thought it was going to be like a silicone type primer, but it isn't at all. You can see there, it's like a cream. Um, and it definitely sort of helped to blur out lines and imperfections, you know, to sort of smooth out the skin. Um, but it wasn't greasy and um, just really, really lovely. I've just realised I've took my nail polish off. I meant to put some nail polish on before I filmed. Um, soz. <laughs> but yeah, and it, it was quite mattifying. So it wasn't an illuminating primer, which is what I kind of normally go for. But um, I thought it was really nice. So yeah, I enjoyed using it. But that one is going to be rolling out. Next thing on my list was the Max Factor Skin Luminizer Bronze. So um, well, it's Luminizer Foundation, sorry, in the shade Bronze. Now I can see why <laughs> this is down there. It is so dark. Um, it was too dark for me. I've used it one time and then I just put like a big fat cross next to it to say like, nah. So I think really, <sighs> now it was, is it one of those that if I've been away and I've got a tan that I can work on? I don't feel I can work on it at the moment. I think it's just coming at the wrong time for me. Um, and when I put it on my skin though, I wonder if I need to do, um, my skin for about the first five or 10 minutes afterwards was like really tingly. And I've never had that before with a foundation. Um, and it just felt quite irritated. But it didn't look red, um, it didn't break out, but it it was really strange sensation. A bit like, you know, you get your lip plumper um, um, for your lips, you know, your lip plumper, you get that tingle sensation. It felt like that on my skin when this was applied. So actually, maybe I need to just declutter it. Actually, I'm going to declutter it. I'm actually going to get rid of it. I've had it for years. I mean, at least five years. And 
instantly got that out so actually i'm going to declutter it um yeah tra <laughs> but this is what the good thing is because that will just can continue to sit in my drawer otherwise at least now it's gone out of my collection um if i get a tan and i need some deeper um foundation i can go and buy some i can look through my collection i can use some bronzer you know it's fine um, the next product I've got was the Barry M Fresh Face Cheek and Lip Tint. Um, I'm not normally like a liquid blush person at all. I have used this two times and you know what? It is really, really nice. Um, much nicer than what I thought. I've used it, I used it on my lips and also on my cheeks and it stayed my lips for quite a while afterwards and I popped a bit of gloss on and then when that gloss had gone it was still there on my lips but a really pretty colour on the cheek it looks super scary but it isn't um so I'm so pleased to try that I'm gonna obviously be keeping this in until I hit my five uses but it looks so dark there but just kind of want to show you it just can you see how it just goes really really lovely and it's not it's so nice it is really really nice so yeah i've had two uses on that i'll keep that in and hopefully next month we'll have hit the target um what's next oh next one is benefit do the hula liquid bronzer again i don't normally use liquid products don't really use bronzer if i'm honest but i've used this one time um it's quite orangey um i'll give it another go I'll maybe try it with a sponge with a makeup sponge next time um, i'm just going to try and show you a little bit here so it's in a small pump thing i've had this for years oh quite a bit splodged out so that's how it comes out um and actually it's not too bad is it actually it isn't bad at all i think it's just because i don't use bronzer but it's it's quite warm turned still smells okay it smells really nice so yeah that needs another few goes to hit my target um so i've used that twice so another th oh sorry i've used that once so i still need to use that another four times um next thing was a bit of a surprise again um and it was the brow gel luna by luna this is a clear brow gel got it on today on top of a pencil and i really really like it i have used it six times i think i've now started to do my brows shock horror they're not like big brows they're not massive but i am popping a little bit of something in my brow which is something i've never done i'm actually really liking the look this is really comfortable it's it holds me in place without being crispy and crunchy but you certainly know that it's on and yeah, I really liked it. I thought with it being Luna by Luna that I just wasn't going to be that impressed. It's not as good as like the, the Beauty Crop one, which is really sort of like solid, but it's still nice. Um, the wand was okay. It's stained now from using it on top of my pencil, but I really enjoyed it. I'm glad I've used it and it started to get me into the habit of doing my brows. So yeah, so that one will be rolling out, but six uses, I think that's a bit of a success for me um next one was benefit their real double the lip so it's the lipstick that's got the two shades in one um i've used this three times those little shades on the bottom let me show you it here that's it there and it's actually really nice on i did enjoy using it um it's a lovely shade really really nice so i'll keep that in and it's purely because it was down in my handbag i think if it hadn't been left in my bag and i've met my target it'd have been here so it's back up in my room um so yeah i'll start using that again so how many did i say there three uses so only another couple and then i think i'll have quite a lot it's going to just keep it interesting it's going to have some things rolling over that i've tried already lots of new things coming in um i'm really liking it the next one, just a gorgeous, gorgeous product. I found, I've been really lucky this time. I think nothing's been too much of a, a charm. Nothing's been hideous or awful. Um, and this was the Diego Della Palma Lip Liner. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. What's the shade? Eight zero. Does it have a name of it? It just says Matita Labra Lip Pencil. Oh, I'm guessing that actually means lip pencil in a different language anyway um this is a beautiful beautiful pencil beautiful all over the lips 
Um, let me show you. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Um, really nice. I use this all over and pop the gloss on the top. I have used this seven times um, and it's really, really lovely. So I've enjoyed using it. So that is a success. Next thing is also a success, and I've used this 10 times, and it is the AM to PM, it's the Lottie London Brown Eyeliner. I got another one of these in a box just recently, so I've got a couple now, and I'm delighted. I love it. Um, I didn't wear it today because all I've been doing is wearing this, and then my other eyeliners from my other projects have been getting completely abandoned. This has been my go-to liner i absolutely love it the color is gorgeous much softer on the eye than a harsh black liner i use it for my upper lash line and it is honestly beautiful it's dark enough to still have the impact of a black but softer and gentler so you haven't got that harshness and then um, the formula is beautiful it's really creamy it's really soft i've used loads of it and um, i love it absolutely love it and this is definitely something i would consider repurchasing when i finish um if you've got it in your collection do give it a go i think you'll really really enjoy it um sad to see it roll out really but roll out it must um next was the mac single shadow this is the first time i've used a mac shadow and um, i actually got it on today um as a sort of transition in my crease and it is a little one in the shade What Clout Powder Kiss Soft Matte Eyeshadow. Um, I've used this four times, so I need to keep it one more time. I could have rolled it out, but that's fine. Um, that's there. You can see I've made a little bit of a mark on it. It's a lovely soft shade, and um, so it's soft formula, and it is just a really, really nice colour. Um, I think it probably suit a lot of people. And um, yeah, I've enjoyed using it. So four uses, um, keep it in for another round. And then finally, the the tenth product was the Essie Nail Polish. Have we got a shade on here? Two one nine, and that's it there. It's this little bluey grey, almost like a cornflower blue peri periwinkle. Would that be periwinkle? I <laughs> don't know where I grabbed that name from and um, I've only used it one time I was going to use it today um, took my nail polish off got totally distracted and started filming <laughs> um, it needed a couple of coats but it was actually quite nice and I think this colour is sort of quite popular at the moment as well as I've seen a lot of blues and, and sort of greys and paler sort of shades right now so yeah I'll keep it in and I'll aim to have it done for next time but I enjoyed it it's one of those you need to be like careful you don't put too much on do a couple of thinner layers so you don't get um I've noticed with lighter shades I have more problems applying them purely because um I don't always get like an even coat of colour and that's probably just down to my application skills. However, I am like Joe Bloggs. I'm not a nail technician. I'm just like a normal girl trying to do her makeup and her nails and get ready. Um, so yeah, it was okay, but I've had better formulas, I think, but I'm going to keep on going. I've only used it once. So next time I'm going to apply maybe sort of two or three lighter coats. So I'll have a play about and then I'll feed back and let you know what I thought overall. Cool. So that means we've got what we're keeping in. I'll just show you here and then we can sort of see where we're at. So the things that are staying in is like the nail polish, the MAC eyeshadow, the Benefit lipstick, the Hoola liquid bronzer and the Barry M lip and cheek tint. So those things are staying in. I've hit my usage goals on the brow gel, the primer, the lip liner and the brown liner from Lottie. And then I'm decluttering this so we need five new products okay so this is how it's gonna go <laughs> are you paying attention so i've counted up the drawers where i've got my makeup and i've numbered each drawer so i'm going to randomly generate a number which will correspond to the drawer i'll then take you with us so we'll pull all the numbers out first for the drawers we'll then go and look through those drawers and maybe choose so how many have we got we've got to pull out five so if we say maybe put pull four products from each drawer, jumble them all up and lay them out, number them all, and then we'll um, <laughs> select the products randomly about what we're gonna do. 
I'm going to definitely, I think when I choose the products, I'll probably choose two things that I really like. Uh, or maybe, and then um, maybe two things that are a little bit scary that I haven't tried yet or not much used that are out of my comfort zone more. And then that way, I just need, as well as finding things that I love, I need to find things that I don't like and then I can declutter them or pass them on. You know the drill. So the drawers, as I say, I've got one to 13. So it covers all things like the primers, the foundations, um, blushes, highlighters i'm excluding face palettes because i don't want to pull out eyeshadow palettes or face palettes because i've got my pan in every palette so i've excluded face palettes then there's like single shadows eyeliners mascaras three drawers of lip products three drawers of nail stuff so i think that's okay so yeah one to thirteen so what i've done i've um where are we i've pulled up my I'm sure I had my random generator here. Here we go. So I've got random.org. Hopefully this is going to work. And it is 1 to 13. So we need to draw five numbers. Let me get a pen. I've got no paper. It's okay. I've got the inside of a, um, inside of a cotton bud thing here. <laughs> okay. So. Oh my God. Why do I make this so tricky? The first one is number 11, which is, I think it's like nail polishes. Next one is number nine. Next one is number four. Oh, can you see this? Sorry, number four. Next one is number eight we've got all these they're all different and then that's one two three four so the last one is number 13 oh my goodness two lots of nail polish but it doesn't mean that we're going to get them because we're just going to pick out those drawers bring them back and have a look so let me just pause you we'll turn around and we'll go through the drawers Hello. So the first one was number 11. This is draw 11. So what I'm going to do, I think I'll pull out a few that we need to do. I have got reds already. So I'm going to do some pinks and some purples because I have got some deep ones in a different project. So let's have a look at, ooh, um, for that, we'll pull, ooh, it's glitter. I'm going to pull four. I said four from each one, didn't I? Let's pull out this one. Uh, maybe an orange. I've had that for a while. Okay, cool. But also, whilst we're over at the nails, I've got number 13. This is because that was 11, which we've just been in. 12. This is 13. So I'll pull four out from here. Um, oops. Okay, gosh, sorry for the um, wobbly camera work. Let's pull out this Ciate one. Um, silver. Sally Hansen. And then, what? Ooh, okay. Something that I probably won't like. <laughs> A white. <laughs> Let's see if I need that in my collection. So we're over at the drawers. We have got a number four to get. So we've got one, two, three, four, which is highlighters. So I think what we'll do, we'll pull two liquid, two powder. Um, trying to see things that I maybe haven't used that I maybe want to use as well. I've got to be nice to myself as well. What's this one? Excuse me. Okay, we'll try that one, which is a Jouet. And um, we'll do, we'll do that. <laughs> Good grief, let's hope we don't get that. And then um, back here, we have got, 
to get the Becca. And then um what have I got in here? I don't know what that is, but it's a literacy liquid beam. Let's go with that, just be bold. Um right, then we need number eight and number nine. So this was number four. Right, I'm not doing that. Five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> Which means loads of lipsticks. That's good because I need to get using up my lips my lipsticks. Um, let me just pop you on the tripod, I think, and then we'll have a proper look. Okay, so this is draw number eight. So I've got pencils and it looks like glosses. That's not so bad. Okay, so we'll pick out four things in here. Um ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, can I cheat? Because this should be packed away. And this is a pencil. So I'm actually going to pull this one out because I don't like it. So that's actually normally in the crayon one there. So pull that one out. Um, trying to find things that are going to be fine for the season. of Burt's Bees here. So let's pull out a pinky Burt's Bees and then um, let's choose what have we got? Choose this one and then we'll choose a Duval's as well. So there's four and then draw number nine which is the one below it Ooh, good, good. this is all bring you up a little bit oops the daisy you're there okay so we've got balms tints um liquid lipsticks that makes me shudder okay we're gonna choose let's choose some tinted balms got this one which is from Incredible, we'll choose a mood stick from Kinder. That's one of those pH ones that changes. Let's choose, let's look on the liquid lipstick things. Oh, so that is Steve Laurent. And then... that uh, Bella Pierre cool right then um I think that's all the drawers I'm going to go lay all the products out and then we'll choose randomly the next five products okie dokie so I have lined all of the products up here so number one through to number 20 so all we need to do now is just oops get this random generator we now need to make it to 20 products 20. Okay, so here goes. <laughs> we need to choose five products. So the first one is number five. One, two, three. Okay. And then we've got number three. I'm just moving them out so we can have a look in a minute. Then we've got, oh, we need to roll again. We can't have three twice. 19, 19, number two, oh good grief, and then <laughs> last one, oh gosh it likes number three, number six, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, right then, here we go, let's have a look. So what we've got, I'm a bit gutted at this actually, but in a way it's going to let me do my full face project pan a bit more. So we have got the white OPI nail lacquer. We've got the Bella Pierre, which I'm not keen on, I don't think. We have got the Jouer. We've got this. We've got this. Hang on. Now I'm going to pull it all together and I'm going to show you um, with me back in front of the camera. 
<laughs> right i'm back just been fighting trying to get the camera in the, the stand but i'm here um oh guys we have got three nail polishes a lipstick and a highlighter to go on with the other products where i already had a nail polish we've got four nail polishes i guess the universe is telling me i need to do my nails more and just work out what i want to keep and what i don't so we have got here the this isn't too bad i'm not mad at this one the miracle gel sally hansen um that's okay it's quite a nice bronzy shade i don't think that's gonna be too much effort but how many times can i do my nails you know i need to try and get a couple of these out for next time for sure so we've got that one at least they're all different colors we've got the ciate one which is in supernova which is quite an iridescent one it's like a silvery one with like a a ready greeny shift which actually is okay looking we've got the opi why why did i choose this as a potential option when but then i suppose i chose it because it's something that i'm i know in my heart of hearts i'm probably not going to use even though white polish is so on trend maybe i'm going to love it um We'll see. I'm going out tomorrow night, so I'll maybe do my nails in that. So those are three polishes. We've got the Bella Pierre Kiss Proof Lip Creme. I don't even wear this type of lip product. I won't know, but I'm gonna, I will promise to choose it five times before I make my decision. Um, and I'll try it different ways. I'll try it by itself, I'll try it on top of a balm, I'll try it with a gloss on top. I'll, I'll do a few different ways. The color itself isn't dreadful. Just what is the formula like and is it drying? It is kind of okay, but I'm just not a matte girl. I'm not about that life. And then the Jouer highlighter. It's a powder highlighter and it is in the shade something. Don't know. Um, and that's it there. It looks really, oh gosh, sorry for blinding you. It looks really pretty. It's got a nice little mirror in it actually. Oh, and it is a good mirror. Um, let's do a little swatch. It's not even being swatched. Look at that brand new sat there just going off. That's okay. It feels quite grainy, grainy. Yeah, a little bit grainy. I love the packaging. It's very golden. It's not my type. I would normally choose a more um, champagne-y highlighter if I even use highlighter, but I can maybe even use it on my eyes. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a challenging one. It's not as good as last time, is it? Last time I loved everything. So this is going to be a bit more of a challenge. Let me get everything in here all together so we can see it all. What a mix. Oh my word. Um, yeah. That's everything there. There's my 10 products. <laughs> We need to finish some because we need to roll something else in for this. But as I say, I am doing my full face project pant as well, which is another roulette style project. So at least, um, actually it isn't roulette, what we're talking about. That is me just choosing out products that I want to finish off. So at least I can use those makeup -y things. And I've got things here which are sort of competing with those. Oh, guys, you guys, I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to my channel. It really does mean so very much. Um, I check my numbers every day, you know. <laughs> I can't help it. I just see them go up. I see them go down. Um, yeah, if there's something you're enjoying, before you un if you are going to unsubscribe, please do just drop me a message. You can write in the comments, being constructive. Drop me a DM over on Insta because I'm always wanting feedback. You know, po keep it positive. But yeah, and I know my channel is so varied and so it's not going to be for everyone because I'm not just beauty. I'm not just craft. I'm not just sort of lifestyle. I'm a bit of everything, a bit of a mishmash of stuff. So, but that's me. I like lots of things. So enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I'll see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye for now. Ah, <laughs> bye. Get out of here. Bye.